So we are celebrating winter, and these are our snowflakes to hang on the tree. So what do you like about winter? What do you give thanks for in winter? Something that doesn't happen at other times of the year. Well, what's something you... Snow cones? You have so snow cones. You feed your kids snow cones in the winter? <laughs> okay, sorry, that was very judgmental of me. What? Snowfalls. Snowfalls. Yeah, snowfalls. You, do you make things out of the snow? snowball oh, you have snowball fights. Okay. That kind of goes with the snow cones. Okay. S <laughs> snowball fights. Those are fun. Just so they don't have a lot of ice in them, right? What else? Okay. Another one. My husband and, and uh, kids always made snow trolls. I, I, yeah, I mean, like, how can you be a warner and not put ice fishing down, right? Is there something you eat in the, that your parents make in the winter that you really like? What did you what, what did you say? Hot cocoa. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you don't have that in the middle of the summer, right? Hot cocoa. And what did you say, Annika? Chicken noodle hot dish. Okay. Yeah, see, there, if we think about it, there's all sorts of things we can give thanks for always in our lives. But sometimes, like if we don't like winter, do you guys like winter? You like winter? <laughs> so if you don't like winter, then it's harder if there's something going on that you don't like. But then you have a community of people that can help you, help us discover Okay, we can have some counseling afterwards about... <laughs> well, but it gives you another thing to experience in life, right? To experience ice fishing, which is something a lot of people have no idea has ever done, right? And I'll tell you, just the only time I've been out in an ice house, I was invited by a monk to drink tea and read poetry. So you could take tea and read poetry to your dad. And, the, and, the, and, the, and then your dad will never invite you back, so that will work. All right, so we give thanks to God for helping us see the world differently and to give us one another to help us see things to be grateful for. Amen.